Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by Ghostbed.com. What is that? Is it Morse code? No, it's not Morse code, motherfucker. It's Hans Zimmer. I'm telling you this. Hans Zimmer. Fucking week. What Hans Zimmer? What? Put some respect on Hans's name. Wow. Hans Zimmer makes like scores for. Wait, is Hans Zimmer scored our news? Is he the guy from the first Die Hard? Hans Zimmer? Uh, yes. Hans Zimmer yes. scored Black Hawk He Down. was the terror, terrorist? Oh, the ah, musician. I thought was, it was... God, Hans no. Zimmer scored yep. Black Hawk Down. He's a composer. Yep. You're He's a composer. The, one of the best composers of You're all time. Composer. We paid him a million dollars for that Speaking song. of weird shit, That's, so uh, can you explain to me the difference between a donkey... And whatever, like no, 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 no. You're talking about Evan has, Evan has abandoned the sandwich reference. Okay. Well, it's been out there for a while. Now, what was he's the not? Sandwich. Sandwich. I would say he hasn't abandoned it. He has now shifted over to a new. Uh, there, there are different degrees of sandwiches. So there's yeah. a it toilet sandwich, to his... a toilet sandwich. You know, yes. where you eat a, to- a sandwich out of the toilet. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you're collecting miniature bed. donkeys now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he says we're run... all over the place here. Let's let's focus he up. Says, let's run, focus. Uh, no, you know, let's. I run a donkey sanctuary. Yeah, this is this is the top news story, Jared. You actually have a. A donkey, donkey sanctuary. sanctuary. Yeah, but these yeah. are real donkeys. Evan's yeah. talking about metaphorical donkeys, which are actually women. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, well, so we, the sandwich always had that. These are real. I want to talk about your real oh, donkey God, farm. Dude. What about the real donkeys? That you have, you have a, you're the only person I know with a real donkey farm. Now. So, did you know this? I'm a donkey sanctuary. His ex wife and Jeremy May drove seven hours to Oklahoma to pick up a fucking dog last night in the middle yeah. of the night. A they dog? bought a St. Bernard while I was gone. Why? I don't know, but we named it Wendy. Ah. Yeah, after yes. Peter Pan, you know, because oh, the kids call. Guys. Well, the yeah. kids called my, my mom Nana, so we don't want to confuse him that the dog's name's Nana. And Grace. why were those the only two options? Love I, that. I like Wendy. You're like, Wendy. well, we couldn't call it this one word, <laughs> so we yeah. had to say Wendy. So we like, yeah, dude, there's a lot of words. Thing. I you could have called it. Dog I'm, a fan. I'm a fan of Wendy. You could have called it you know? Jimmy Tree Legs if you wanted to. It's cute. It's in honor of Jimmy Tree Legs. It's December 16th. Yeah, coming up. Pinecone Day is coming up December 16th. I know what I'm getting you, Dan. Is it Pinecone? There she is. Oh, wow. That's a that's a very Beethoven-ish dog. Yeah. It is a St. Bernard. Is it a crossbreed or something else? No, it's it's a full-blown St. Bernard. Why is it brown and... You know, did you see this? See that? I, I would expect your, I would expect it to be brown and black. And no, Saint Bernards are brown. That's yeah, a good-looking dog. Black, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, I like those there's dogs. not, a, there's not very many years on that. Now dog. back to the yeah. donkey farm. Okay, the how donkeys. many do you have? How many, how many do you own, and how many are on your well, property? We're okay, so the ranch. has... This is active donkeys. Yeah, the ranch has Live quite donkeys. a few donkeys, but they're, okay. they're, 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 there's, there's, there's a donkeys. couple purebred donkeys, but then there's zonkeys because the zebras keep fucking the donkeys. Ah. So you've got. You got a bunch of zon- uh, donkeys out there that have zebra legs, and then you'll have mules because horses fuck donkeys, and that makes a mule. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so there's a few on the ranch, but we're we're currently in the market for a miniature donkey for my property. Right. Yeah. You, what now, does one pay for something like that? That's like oh, 150 dollars. Yeah. yeah. It's not much. Huh. They're not that rare. It's just a gen- no, genetic. They're all over thing. the place up there. Um, you know <laughs> what, Jesse? You want miniature horses? No, wait, miniature no. elephants. Pygmy elephants. Those yeah. aren't real, by the way. Yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah. You found them. I found it. It was a Photoshop fucking picture, <laughs> dum dum. That's not real. But you no, know what? It's real. It's real. I mean, you know, genetics, we can, we can I, make the them. Chinese are going to make them. Yeah. We could. We can make them. It takes about. 20 years to selectively breed an animal no, to a dude, much No, dude, we could CRISPR animal. that shit in China for sure. Yeah, I don't know if you can, I don't know if CRISPR's figured out like height and weight. Why don't like, you just take like genetics they have from, figured a, all from of it a grape out. and then cross-pollinate that with an elephant. Jesus and then you Christ, make what are we making elephant wine now? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Oh, you you're rich enough. I, Mr. Mr. I don't believe in want. science wants to cross-breed a grape and an elephant. Yeah. What is Listen, even science? I'm with Jared on this one. I want a grelephant. Grelephant. Yeah, you know, I mean, honestly, if China let me if China let me have the reins on the science parade over there for a little while, uh, this is just I would make. No. They're really cool would about make, letting people I do stuff. I would cross there. pollinate. Yeah. This is just human all over They're really good and about a manatee and a cow. Really, and I would make a lanatee. No, this is this is a human dog. Yeah, all I just want a slow Why? moving gray Why? animal Why? Why? grazing grass. Why? Why, Why, Why do not? you use all your intelligence and creativity to make human dog? And well, why aren't we making why aren't or whatever we the making fuck that was? Cows the size of elephants at that point because then we could get so much more, more steak. Meat. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine I'd be in favor of bigger cow? steaks. Yeah. Now you have me. I, I want, want a Barry Bonds, Bonds cow. Could you, jacked yeah. up on steroids. could you imagine a, a it hits a home run to win the World Series and you eat filet it right that ass. weighs like 40 pounds? Oh, uh, be the best. I'm just not a big fan of filet to be honest. I just think it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor in it. It's tender. 
I love it. Are you Filets aren't really about? packed with fat, and fat is where flavor yeah, comes from. Yeah, but it's from. juicy. Yeah, they're mm. good. Damn. I like the I'll juice. take a ribeye all day. My yeah, ribeye. So now imagine the ribeye from a The ribeye would be the size of this fucking table right yeah. here. Yeah. A cow-sized elephant. And I would eat the ass out of that thing. Well, oh. you don't have to now. No. I mean, think about it. You, <laughs> you know, how much meat we get out of a cow? 1,500 uh, pounds? No, like maybe 400 maybe. You think? For a big cow, yeah. Yeah. Two sides, about 200, 180 and then, to And then we piece. do, so we make an elephant-sized cow. Now you're getting It's about 4, five 000. times bigger. Yeah. Not 4,000. Yeah, 4,000 pounds. How much does an elephant weigh, Jesse? Uh, two tons. <laughs> mm. How much does an elephant weigh? Two tons. Right? Yeah. About, about, Are you sure? About 4,000 pounds. 4,000 pounds. Here. Hey, Siri, how much does an elephant weigh? And answer it to me in Mandarin Chinese. Okay. An elephant weighs about 13,000 pounds. Yep. That's way more than So that's not 4,000. Way and answer is. Well, you heard it here <laughs> first, <laughs> folks. Yeah. That's a nightmare. Thousand pounds. You heard it here first. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can get quite a bit of meat. I would yeah. rather. I want a fucking Shetland giraffe. Yeah, because bones don't weigh nothing. Oh no, I'm seeing miniature <laughs> giraffes here too. What? I'm serious. So if the elephant weighs thirteen thousand pounds. Bones are only weighing like two hundred and thirty pounds. Cut his mic. <laughs> it's all over, folks. <laughs> what? I'm I'm serious. And the stomach's full of air, and so are the lungs. There's no weight there. No, Jerry. you can't be serious. The guts are maybe another 200 pounds. That no. the rest of that is prime beef meat. <laughs> well, it's not beef. Yeah, it's if, well, if it's, it's an elephant, if it's a, it's a cow sized elephant. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah, an elephant sized cow. Elephant yeah, yeah. sized cow. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you're talking ten thousand six hundred and forty pounds of meat. Out of one elephant size. Cow. What do you think would happen if Deontay Wilder just punched an elephant right in the fucking side of the rib? What, like, would it would it fall over? If he like a kidney Jared, knockout or a liver yeah. knockout, yeah, he'd, he'd probably take it down. Heavyweight yeah. champion of the world. Like, I, I want to see uh, in Australia they have people that used to like fight kangaroos and shit. I want to see people fighting animals, but that don't have. Yeah, well, South, South they only have four legs, and he just walks up to him, but he's not wearing gloves. He's just fucking that thing up. Yeah. I'd like to see that. Because right. eventually the cow is going to get mad and fight back. Well, South Africa starting the animal MMA. Oh, man. What? They're going to start, I would they're gonna start fighting animals. Well, shit. I mean, Michael Vick's going to be a big fan like, of that. Yeah. He'll be, he's actually going to be the announcer. Going to be the announcer. You know, they're starting with a grizzly bear and a tiger. Ah, oh, fuck. I think, I think I have the tiger in that one. I yeah, know, so man. a steer produces about 430 pounds of retail cuts of meat, wow. and they weigh about 2,400 pounds. So, yeah, so, I was right, 10,640 pounds. Nope, not even yeah, close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's about 1,200 pounds of meat you would get off that elephant. Give no. But that's 1,200 pounds is a fucking lot of that's meat. That's a lot of meat, Jared. Actually, more like 1,600, I guess. Yeah, 1,600 nah, pounds. 1,600 like pounds 10, of elephant Bones don't weigh a lot. Uh, I'd eat that that no I, that snout Bones first. Don't weigh a lot. <laughs> well, especially if you crossbred it with uh, chicken genomes. Yeah. Why like, are you crossbreeding animals again? Stop. Because you want the bone density to be lighter. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna create an animal that can't stand up. Fuck face. I bet you that snout meat's a delicatessen. Is I'm it meat? Is it snout, You're not gonna have snout meat. It's a it's a cow. That's the what size I want. of an elephant. That's what I want. Delicacy. I want. Uh, I want. I still want it. To Can you imagine the, the size of the shits that thing's gonna take? Oof. It's nah, gonna the be stomach, you, you just keep the stomach the normal size. Yeah, that hey. way they can grow to be big and strong, you fucking turd. Yeah. God, do you guys not know how biology works? I'm going to stab everyone. Speaking of shits, that'll lead us to our top story of the day. Oh, San Francisco wow. is officially the nastiest city in America. The city's new district attorney announced this week that public urination will no longer be prosecuted, which will... Uh, look... Undoubtedly, be followed by now, Ross. Here's my question. In the middle of the here's streets. my question. I think I think we should all go into like commentator. Uh, sure, commentator. Oh, he stuff. just went like, over the top. Yeah. You see that shit? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subscribe yeah. on YouTube now, for Stallone. Now, now, Ross, with a move like this, yes. Let's say you're the mayor of San Francisco. Do you wake up this morning with pride? No, I wake up this morning with a full bladder. I head right outside my front door, and I take a healthy stream right down Hayton. How do you? Ashbury how do you? Street. How do you protest this? Actually, I would go down. Uh, what's the Kirby Road? Uh, oh, the Lombard. Uh, Lombard, Lombard Street. Street. Stand at the top of Lombard. This is the protest for this for all you San Franciscanites or whatever the fuck you're called. San Franciscans. Fran- San Franciscans. San Freakins. Uh, for all you people there that are normal human beings, and I don't know if there's any left, but if you're there. 
what I would do is go to the top of Lombard Street and just all start pissing at the same time, just let it run downhill and see what happens. Oh my God, that would be the best protest of all yeah. time because then it would just, it would be floods. Just and paint. nobody can do it, it's decriminalized. So what you do is so you, you go to do? a bar, you go to a bar first, <laughs> right? Are you white clawed up, right? Everybody drinks six white claws. No, you, you go, go to the Corona top of the for this. Streets. You oh, want you yeah. want real yeah, piss. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You want some real piss. White claw makes it Corona too clean. and asparagus. Ooh, Corona all night. and asparagus. Tecate and asparagus, yeah. Yeah. dude. All and night. You, uh, and that whole city will burn to the ground. Could you imagine? Mm. With fucking nuclear that, I'm, piss. I'm dead serious with my statement though. Like, do these do these politicians understand <laughs> that they've failed? Like, do they know that like you are bad at your job. There are people that are that are good for a job. There are people that fucking suck and deserve to be <laughs> fired. Yeah. Why? Well, here, here's, why is California is the, the members of San Francisco not going? You know what? The mayor, the attorney general, everybody in this chain, you're done. The Get out of the here. The wealthiest people in California that don't need to be in California anymore for whatever reason are leaving for Nashville and Austin and other cities. Mm -hmm. That's how you know you failed. It doesn't take this. This is like this is like near collapse. The yeah. failure happened years ago. Yeah. But if you spend any time in San Francisco, uh, yeah, why, you will understand yeah. exactly how and why it's happening. Why, why right? isn't this a, a because thing? Because somebody will come out with the most left shit yes. you've ever heard in your life, and a bunch of so further left people to, will show yes. up and protest those left people. And they're all people. trying to like, out-left each shit, other dude. and out-offend each other and yeah. just, just decriminalize everything. Throw a right every now and again, dude. Yeah, well, look, the, the DA also went on to say that uh, no quality of life crimes um, will be prosecuted. Those, cl those crimes include public camping, which I didn't know was a thing. You could just camp. Public, public. camping is like Seattle and Portland. Homelessness. Yes. Yeah. Uh, offering or soliciting sex prostitution. Now, that one I'm fine with, with that. that. Quality of life. Yeah, we should decriminalize that. I'm fine that with that. that. I agree with Definitely. Yeah. Uh, public urination, blocking a sidewalk, um, and then... Oh. Uh, taking a poop. Yeah. You by the, by, by the way, the that means that as of this week, you can go to San Francisco, solicit a prostitute, fuck her, and it's in and a then, tent a on tent, a sidewalk in, a sidewalk. in front of somebody's house and piss on her. Wait, yep. that's not right. Yeah, that's assault. But you can do it near her. Yeah, you yep. can do it. You just roll over and piss right in the gutter. Yeah. Well, you can step right outside the tent that's on the sidewalk in front of somebody's house. You could piss, piss on the piss and shit. The, you could piss go back on the inside. tent. Because as long as it's not making direct contact with the prostitute, I think you're fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God damn it, dude. I love this country. Yeah. It's Gosh. crazy. And Northern California <laughs> especially. I'm trying to find something for you right now. Oh, this is it. This is breaking news this morning. Read it aloud. Read it aloud. Do we know that person? No. No, we don't. Ooh. Is this a juicy one? Yeah. Read it aloud. It's a good one. It's a good one. So uh, a Marine, an active female marine says her sexual photos and videos from a paid site are being spread around camp wilson um yeah. single mom reserve she's actually a reservist sold pornographic videos and now she has had to stop the account because the subscriber uh, took the videos she had off. a fans only account yeah okay. and we've all heard of those yeah yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course yeah. um but somebody that paid for her content uh, while she was on an exercise, started airdropping them to hundreds to me, of people. To me, this is this is bro code <laughs> kind of That's stuff. That's theft. This is it is theft. This is bro yeah. code kind of stuff. She's doing you the favor for a very small fee. Of showing yeah, it's you five, her, ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Who knows what she's jamming inside of her for your fucking benefit? Yeah, and you're gonna fucking ruin it. This is like Lord drug addicts knows. to me. Yeah. Yeah. This is like drug addicts. People who can't handle their fucking business are fucking it up for the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. that's all it is. Ozzy, that's just rude. You're stealing from someone that resorted to, you know, this. To help pay for her child. Yeah. Even if she didn't resort to it. If she just wanted to do yeah, it to make money. To I don't do give a it. fuck like, about that. That's still her content. God damn it, dude. Yeah, sell, your, sell your panties. Behind the Take pictures of your feet. Like, brother, yeah. do whatever you want. I don't give a and shit. Then, and so I was Cares. arguing with somebody on the internet about this because, fucking dicks. you know, of course, females want to fucking chime in and throw stones at someone like this right off the bat and that's who it was. Oh, she it was shouldn't a, be doing that anyway. a fucking female like, what an idiot. I'm like, what no. does she expect? I was like, your logic is fucked here. This yeah. is no different than you paying for a song or a movie and then handing it out to hundreds or thousands of people for free. You're stealing from somebody that created something yep. and, and, and did it <laughs> behind a paywall for people to pay. I go, it, you're, you're just stealing and you're just being an asshole. Yeah, well, I agree. Man, not uh, a fan of that. Uh, if you do get a hold of her porn, don't look at it. Pay for it.
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, or at yeah, least yeah. go I messaged to, her, like, I messaged you, her on Twitter. Just give her a five. If, if yeah, you happen to cross it, go tip her on the side or something. Be a decent human being for or once in your yeah, life. Just give her a five. Received, you know? If you received, you know, some of these from a uh, from an airdrop on Camp Wilson, at least send the girl a tip. Yeah, yeah. or get, like, give her a fiver. Again, if in you person, see her. Yeah. In person. If you yeah. see her out at your local Applebee's, buy her a fucking two for tw- 22 or whatever yeah. it is. Right? Yeah, get, get her those. Uh, give her two give entrees. Her she needs one for the showstopper. Get her the chicken fajitas, dude. You oh. can hear them from across the restaurant. She and she's get, a good looking girl, too. I, why don't you hit her up, Jerry? We support that. I sent her a message on Twitter, you know. Yeah. And you said, hey, we support you yes, also. Yes. I mean, she's probably going to get booted out of the Marine Corps for this. I don't too. know. I don't, we're in 2019. Like, you're allowed. You're allowed to do a lot, and now I don't know if you're allowed to do porn while you're actively engaged. I don't with the see. Military. I don't see why not. I, I'm a, I'm not a disagreeing with that point. I'm saying it's probably on the books in the UCMJ somewhere where you can't do that. Yeah, I, I imagine it is. I just think in this day we should we should probably just. By the way, can we have work. a moment of silence for Heather Brooke? Oh, oh what please. happened? Nothing. Oh. Just respecting the fucking work she did back yeah, in the day. She was the she cheap. was the wife of an active duty marine, and I'm she, having my silence. Yeah, yeah. There it is. And Thank she you. what? Thank you. You're welcome. Ideepthroat.com. Uh-huh. Remember one of the early sites. Heather Brooke. I mean, I'm sure you saw oh, her Heather back Brooke. in the early 2000s. She's the one. Very with, famous. Her husband had a, like a massive 10-inch dong, and she would take that thing all the way down to the balls. Oh, yeah. yes. And he would ejaculate into her esophagus <gasps> yes. on a regular yeah. basis. I, mean, I think he touched her stomach. She, he may have, yeah. He had a big yeah. old dong. She and, had uh, lots of fluid in her she lungs, just, I, I think. I mean, it was amazing for her because <laughs> one minute she was hungry, the next minute she's like, oh, I'm full. Yeah, and yeah. she she let him fuck her in the ass with that giant thing too, which is God, God bless her, man. Against mm. the uh, against the washer and dryer. Yeah, I remember that one. Or in the back of a truck. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. Ah, that yeah So yeah. Uh, just you know, respect, respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For her, I mean, the, look, the the two things that we always say um, that I'm I'm the saddest of in this world is when a porn star or a supermodel dies. Uh, this has yeah. got to be three though, or a porn star quits. Yeah, yeah, that's sad. Well, yeah. look, she made she her money, die. and he, I think he retired from the Marines, so they're fine now. Is she alive? I would assume so. Yeah. I think okay. we should. I, I, I want to start a. I hate to. Assume. I want to start a, a movement to remove. We can find her. I know her real name. All the uh, relationship, and you know, other than like sexual assault, but to get out all the stuff from the UCMJ that. Uh, Prosecutes against adultery well, and things yeah, like that. Like, no, it's like, no, fucking uh, uh, sodomy is against. Yeah, get that out the of there. UCMJ and yeah. sodomy includes anything that's not like straight mish, basically. Yeah, like all sucking that stuff dicks doesn't, doesn't need to be in there. Like, like what? I, how sucking many, dicks. How many good? Yeah. Uh, you like how aggressive I yeah. said that? Like, like, like sucking dicks. The reality is, humans are going to do human shit, and humans are going to fuck. Like they just yeah. are. Like, how many good people did we lose over? Stupid Over, you know, yeah, yeah. You put a guy in in a in a austere quarters or whatever with a good looking girl, and yeah, they ended up hooking up. But now a wife is mad and wants to ruin the career, and mm-hmm. we're kicking people out over this. I think it's a waste of everyone's time. Like there was a commander in the Air Force that took command of an F sixteen demo squadron and like yeah. got relieved I, over I, this stuff. And yeah, it was it's like, so stupid. Who cares? Yeah, like. This sh- that you know what happened the, answer, to one of the my military's f- answer should be none of our fucking business. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we, I we, we, have, we have lost a lot of good people to that. There should just be like a, a company HR form. If you're like a fucking senior enlisted person and you want to fuck some slutty uh, uh, specialist or you're the slutty commanding officer and you want to fuck some mm. bull, yeah. some yeah. bull fucking specialist dude. Yeah. Here's the form. Fill out the form. Do the HR paperwork. Hey, we're going to bang. He's going to blast inside me every single time. Hey, but I'm taking plan we, B. It's fine. We both have. We both are consenting to this. It's yeah. fine. Like, and I, and we'll, the form. that way, the the government knows that if she gets special treatment, they can review it and find out. Yes, they can. Because that's why they do it to make sure one person is not getting special treatment, and to make sure that a senior person is not taking advantage of a lower enlisted person. But if everybody's on the up and up, if sign the just, paperwork. Yes, if we just you can come inside all. her every day, right after work. Yeah. yeah. Well, it'd make for a lot happier force too. It Probably. would, dude. I they used to have morale squadrons. Boosters. Back I'll tell there, you yeah. what, no. morale boosters. And no. I saw I saw the facts Squ- behind this is, <laughs> and and he can attest to this. You go to Kuwait, you go to Iraq, you go to Afghanistan, you go on a camp. Everybody's under general order number one. You're not allowed to be in an, a room with somebody with the opposite sex. You're not allowed to drink. You're not allowed pornography. It's called a sad zone. No sex. No alcohol. No drugs. Yeah. Okay. But athlete, you're also not allowed pornography, name. supposedly. Yes. But they're just—that's just naive to think that we didn't all have it. Yeah, we all did. Mm. Uh, but you go to Djibouti and Camp Lebanon, or what I think is what it's called, Lemonair, Lemonair Lebanon. Uh, uh, I don't know. They don't, don't have know. that. You can have three drinks a <laughs> night. You're allowed to stay the night in each other's rooms, and like it's just relaxed rules. I've never seen more. 
happy people deployed in my life than on that camp. Yeah. So it's Deployment, like, hey, the answer is right in front of your Deployments face. are stressful enough. Uh, we shouldn't be forced to jerk off and smell a Porta Johns yeah. every day. Like, like, get rid of this shit. It's like, ridiculous, stop. man. You're just dumb. When you were there, do they call it, uh, it ain't your face, it's, your, it's Djibouti? Nope. And so, um, no one sorry. Knows that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Calling the cops. Hang on a sec. Do you feel like you lose focus? No. Okay. I mean, uh, is that the idea behind it? Though, what do you think? Probably? What do you think is more is is more detrimental to the psyche? Yeah. Uh, just depriving people of stuff because yeah. again, anytime you deprive somebody of anything, like to say that we didn't drink over there, we absolutely did. We just snuck it. We we hit right. it. We had it mailed to us. You do everything. things un- yeah. in an unsafe way. Yeah. It's just like abortion and all that other stuff. When you when you criminalize things that people are going to do anyways, like crossing the border, for example. Sure. Not that it should be decriminalized, but we need to figure that part out. Because what we've done down there is create like a criminal smuggling class. And instead of just worrying about, like if we just dealt with the people who are just trying to come here to work, <laughs> then there would be no incentive. There would be no pathway for all these assholes that want to come here and blow our fucking buildings up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And in the same way, if you just let people fuck and do whatever they want, uh, legalize drugs, all that stuff, all the violence that comes with those things and the, the, the fucking yeah. unsafe activities, they go away. Yeah. Almost immediately. One of our listeners suggested IEDs at the border. Too extreme? Um, what? I mean, we drive those roads, too. Yeah. So probably not. Yeah, okay. probably that's, not. I don't know what that does. Well, I, do like, I do like the yeah, idea of checking. militarizing the border. As a matter of fact, I think that's going to happen pretty soon. Maybe. Maybe. Not, not maybe. We're doing something like, uh, so in 2006, we did something called Operation Jumpstart. And it was a National Guardsman from Nevada and Texas and a couple other states went down to the border. and They backfilled all the administrative stuff so Border Patrol could go to the border and do their shit, right? And they're doing it right now, too. Our, our, one of our old company commanders is down there doing it right now. Okay. That kind of stuff helps a lot more yeah. than a fucking wall. But by the <laughs> way, did you see that they're going to put like a live stream webcam on the fucking border wall uh, build now oh my god best, i love that the so best much. reality tv of all time <laughs> i can't wait for somebody to fucking ca- like screen cap some of the video wait. and just show like uh like aoc's head popping in from the side like this <laughs> yeah. and then back out and there's gonna be so many good memes from this i don't care about uh, politics dude just give me memes yeah, yeah memes brother memes yeah aoc's been quiet uh, somebody well, told her to shut up it's no it's no, not she's that she's on actually. the bernie trail yeah what? She, well not only is she on the bernie trail but the rumor is if he gets in uh, he's going to put her at a very high-ranking position in the cabinet. Well, he's not going to oh, get in. He's, yeah, he's running so like fourth right we now. We don't need to worry about it, but... <laughs> like, well, <laughs> again, find out. Uh, what, 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 why do the people like stupid people? Like, why, why are we like... It's like it, we're, we're all in like a 747 right now, and we're like, hey, go grab that idiot, loud eight-year-old and let it drive the plane for us but it's 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 entertainment now it is no we've we've gone past politics it is entertainment and uh dan's always said this that position is almost too big to fail you what really the president yeah, yeah, this, this yeah you really can't do I anything so like it doesn't matter who's <clears throat> actually it's in gonna there. be somebody fucked it's up the like other honestly the pr- to me the president all, all they really do is uh they put people in cabinet positions, but usually those are deals made by their campaign staff. The president rarely has any direct. I mean, they have direct say in it, but they don't handle that shit. Yeah. The campaign people make promises and they to have these people so, so many, they can grab their audiences. That's all they do. They have so many checks and balances <laughs> that it's yeah. like. So really can't get anything. If done. you're thinking about who you want as president, make it somebody that's going to do entertaining shit. Yeah. 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 I want to be entertained. Like, I don't want to see Hillary Clinton's fucking smug face in there. No. Yeah. I don't want to see it, dude. I, I wouldn't mind uh, somebody funny from the left. Uh, John Stewart. Yeah. Al John Franken, Stewart maybe. Would be a good one. Marianne. Yeah. I mean, Marianne. Like, Al Franken, Franken from maybe. the 90s. Not now. Yeah. 90s Al Franken. Yeah. Uh, Dana Carvey would be great. In oh, he's cool. not a lefty, though. No, but he's just, uh, it's the type of comedy that Jesse enjoys. I wouldn't mind seeing Martin uh, Short. <laughs> but what about Ooh, Martin Short would be really funny in there. <laughs> they're, they're, he's Canadian. <laughs> Both of those guys are Canadian. <laughs> uh, think what? outside the box. What it's, about uh, Dennis Miller? <laughs> oh, boy. Too intellectual, <laughs> probably, for the job. It would be oh, really go, funny, uh, though. I'd be down for He Dennis makes Miller. some references, and it's like he's three or on the four right. in a row, and I'm like, holy shit. He's Bill Burr. He's pretty funny. Ooh. Uh, can you imagine listening to Bill Burr talk shit about Russia? Oh. These fucking Russians! He wouldn't last These fucking Russians. one day in there. He, he hates last all of that. It would be yeah. so good, though. Yeah. So uh, Dennis Miller would actually do it. You talk think. about yeah. like, I'm surprised waiting he's not in politics, for a fucking presidential press conference with Bill Burr. Oh, boy. 
Uh, it, it would. It would be so many more people. I would went get over into there politics. and just fucking Putin. Yeah. By the way, yeah. Bill, fuck him. Bill Burr, <laughs> Bill Burr, and Andrew Schultz, who's on uh, the Brilliant Idiots podcast, uh, they do the best crowd work in stand-up comedy right now. I swear to God, I watch their shit on their Instagram all yeah. the time. It's so their crowd work is. The, I mean, I've seen Bill Burr live like six times, but even I haven't seen Andrew Schultz live yet. You know what I'm talking about, right? Well, the, yeah. the, you, you yeah. know why they're so good. It, when you're as good as they are, yeah. stand up comedian wise, yeah. and you're doing because you're doing the same act on the they road just for bored, forty six, they get bored, yeah. and that is the that is the only way for them to entertain themselves. Yeah, it becomes less about the crowd and more about them because they're on great. autopilot. It's great to watch though. Oh, it's great, but they're on autopilot <clears throat> for that tour. So yeah. shit like that is probably what they live for. Yeah, versus yeah. like you know, there's a lot of dudes that and women too that do crowd work. But I feel like they take it so far, but still keep the audience. Yeah, that, that's the trick to me. Like they fucking say some crazy shit to people. Like, oh, he's yeah, just yeah. openly shit talking these people, like brutally shit talking. Brutally, them. and the, the entire best. crowd is in on it, and laughing and shit. Yeah, I fucking love Andrew Schultz. Yeah. Go watch his shit. It's great. Uh, speaking of people to live for, uh, oh, ABC's God. response to the Epstein <laughs> cover up. Wow, uh, that was a really nice segue. Leaking was to get the person who allegedly leaked it, fired uh, with all the bullshit about the whistleblowers and government and how ABC has covered it up in particular. The so fact now they're more focused on getting whoever leaked these they, videos they, fired. So they got this woman fired for allegedly leaking the video, um, <coughs> which is, look, let's face it, it's, it's one of the most uh, hypocritical moments of 2019. Their producer is 25-year-old Ashley Bianco. Um, cute girl, too. Yeah, you know? she got fired. So she works Not for... Not what she I imagined. Work. Not at all. Well, I don't know. TV producer is old white dude. It's probably a, well. I mean, if it's going to be a young chick, it's going to be a hot one. But I, uh, but a producer at twenty five. Yeah, is, she's an associate. Is she's an associate producer, but still, that's that's not bad. I mean, for oh, a twenty five year old yeah. shit. At any, at any rate, uh, she doesn't even work for ABC anymore. She works for CBS, mm-hmm. and they put together a case against her and sent it to CBS to get her fired. Uh, I don't know what state this happened in, but in a lot of states, that kind of shit is illegal. Like the only question you, a uh, former employee can employer employer, goddamn it, yeah. can say pussy. to a pussy. <laughs> pussy. <laughs> the only thing that a former employer can say to a current or future employer is whether or not they would hire you again. They can't fucking do shit like this. And a right to work state, they can do whatever they want. But in states like where I think this happened, which is New York, there's no fucking way they can get away with it. She has a good case to sue the fuck out of ABC now. I believe she does. Uh, was it is it was it Dateline or twenty or twenty twenty? I believe she worked for. I think that one's out of L.A. I be- well, no, even actually, California. Be, California yeah. has the same protection, yeah, so it doesn't right. matter which you're one. Right. It doesn't matter. I think uh, the only one that might be okay is, is if it happened in Connecticut because they have different laws there. But I think this this is New York or L.A. Yeah, she, she told uh, Megan Kelly because Me- Megan Kelly did the broke the story this week. She's got a new show on YouTube. Yeah, whoa, does um, she? She's fighting the good fight against you know black Santa Clauses and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. she doesn't like that. Santa no. Claus is white. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What? And she doesn't understand She's what's like wrong with five, Santa Claus face. is fake. Yeah, five years ago she like went on the rampage about yep. Santa Claus. That Santa Claus no. was white. Like in credits, like no, Santa Claus is white. I'm like no, he's not real. Jared, dude. you've seen him. He's white. I mean, he's fake. <laughs> he's based on a He German can be dude, whatever the fuck we want him to no be. No one cares if Santa Claus, as long as he gives me he's shit. He's about as real as fucking science and medicine and pharmacists. Oh, man. When you wow. saw Little Mermaid, did you believe she could swim? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. That's, uh, Why is she a little did you mermaid? Are there bigger sh- mermaids out there? Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a lot there's of There's a big mermaid species. Yeah. There's like some fat larger. mermaid out there. Yeah. She's just, I'm oh. just saying, this pharmacist shit is still pissing me off. <clears throat> With Pharmacists are bullshit. Yeah, no, and I get all that. There's Jared. no fucking point to them. Um, we still want to uh, legalize drugs. I think you should just be able to walk in and get yes. whatever you want. Anything that you mm-hmm. want. Yeah. Your doctor can please. recommend, like, hey, this is what I recommend you go buy at the pharmacy. There should be no pharmacist there. You're, so so you right should, now, you're sick as shit, right? Yeah. If the pharmacist was open, <laughs> we should probably go in and get five gallons of syrup. Coating cough syrup. syrup. Coating cough syrup. No, I don't and need that would make that. you feel great. No. And, what do you and need? All of us I think you. it's only supposed to be one syllable syrup. Sir, right? no. I, I would get it five gallons um, of it. Drink you know, Obviously, thing. some for you, no, but then this, the rest for I'd, all I'd of us, the, so we wouldn't get I'd sick. I'd get that little steroid, and I'd get the fucking <laughs> yeah, and I'd get the Z pack, and I'll be good to go. At I any rate, have to wait. Whether or not this line. woman is the one who leaked the story, which she's not, it looks like. By the way, not because of what That's she what said. I heard. Yeah, she's, but we'll she's get to actually that. not the woman. Yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. But whether or not she did this or not is not the point to me. I don't care about that. The point to me is that two fucking major news organizations are colluding to continue to cover up. This a giant shit. story. Like, you fucking kidding me? Put your a job, your yeah. job is to goddamn, like, put the news out there. That is your only job. It's the reason you exist. Yeah. Motherfucker. 
Yeah, you're 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 showing all your cards. But now. the cover, but it's covering up a pedophile story. It's one thing if one agency does it because they got threatened by the crown or whatever the fuck. But when two major companies like this in America work together to, to stifle yeah, a story well, like this, that is a is fucking big part of it. Fucking problem could be coming from up yeah. top. They're rich, dude. I'm sure it is. I mean, yeah. I, if somebody, it's qui bono, right? Who benefits? And in this case, who's protecting themselves? And it's not because they want access to the crown. The crown could never get away with it. that. Is an empty threat. Because as soon as they made that threat and followed through on it, ABC would run hour after hour after hour. Hey, we can't talk to the royal family because they're covering up Epstein. Well, none of that. Like what? you could run that story and get more press than ever. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't even want to talk to the royal family yeah, anymore. Who gives a anyways, shit? Like, you know, this gives all, a shit. Who get, like Will is about as interesting as a fucking backside of a pancake. Uh, who, who fucking cares? Uh, Who's the other you know, one? Meghan Markle all and Harry are the other ones that. You Harry's know. pretty cool. Yeah, Harry's a cool guy. He's a yeah. veteran. Yeah. I mean, they're yeah. both veterans, but. Harry actually did some shit. Yeah. Like, he deployed to Afghanistan doing Jared's job, and they pulled as him out. As and then he came back as an Apache pilot. Yeah. I remember they were doing that interview with him, and shit was going yeah. off, and they were like, hey, man, we need you. But on fucking his first deployment, bounce. he was on the ground doing what Jared did, and they were like, hey, you can't be fucking doing it. They no, found you, out you he should was have been country. like, yes, I can. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's... I'm the king. I'm leading from the front. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well I told him to get fucked. At any rate, uh, the actual leaker, by the way, is uh, a person called Ignotus, which is a character from Harry Potter that's their whatever their fucking code name and they claim to still be working for abc ah and good. this is good. this is fuck out you, ABC. this is everywhere fuck you. right now yeah i hope you're all pissed off i hope you guys i hope this person is a pain in your ass well the thing that, that's going to happen with all of this shit is you know one nobody's going to want to talk to each other on a hot mic you're yep. already afraid that to talk to your employees because of being me too or saying the wrong thing to people now the on-air talent is not going to fucking talk to anyone mm -hmm. uh in between this but that's what news is it's going to be like paranoia. The, the best news from back in the day are relationships off the book between reporters and people in the police, people in politics, all this stuff. That's where in business, everything. Yeah. That's how that's how people break stories. That's how reporters jobs are to figure shit out and put it out in the news. Right. Yeah. To tell good stories or to, to expose shit. Right now they're covering shit up. The news job is not to cover shit up. It's the antithesis of what their fucking job is. And honestly, we got to do something about ABC. Like we got to do something about <laughs> Disney in general. D Disney owns ABC, ABC, ESPN, uh, Nat Geo, uh, everything. everything. That new app, Fox, Oof. the new app, though. fucking Star Wars, oh. all of it. So essentially, ABC <clears throat> and Fox now. Yeah, Fox. Yeah, is the same they bought Fox. Yeah, you know? uh, and they'll be getting rid of Deadpool. I can promise <clears throat> you that. That they got about one more of those before they're not doing any more R-rated content. Apps By the way, we're not going to stop talking about this ever. We've talked about this on, on show or other shows. The this week. Thing, yeah. We're, until, we're not going to stop. Until somebody does something, we're yeah. going to keep talking about I don't it. I'm telling you, this is a tipping point. The American public has it in their hands right now. Yeah. It's, 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 super, it's super clear what they're doing, and we have to not stop Yeah. until, until heads are rolling. You know. Well, the news is fucked these days, and if you want to fuck, you can fuck on a ghost bed from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Get your fuck on. Hillary Clinton's not allowed to own a ghost bed. No, she's not. Oh, she actually God. creates ghosts. Um, she is the ghost, one coast, ghost coast. creator. <laughs> yeah. Do you, coast, what coast. do you think the chances are she's physically killed someone with her own hands Ghost before? to coast. Um, I bet she no. has. What? Yeah. I bet she you smothered. She's always you can had see it in her I bet eyes. she smothered someone with a pillow yeah. before. You could see it in her eyes. She wanted to. Like maybe when one of her relatives was dying, she just wanted to feel no, what it was I think, like to I kill somebody. She like just put a pillow over the face. She had her people bring somebody. Oh, yeah, I could see into that. A, into them. a goat pen so and she was like, could do it. I yeah. want to do it. Yeah. yeah. 50000 if you get him, 100000 if I get to talk to him first. Yeah, because yeah. she wears those little Kim Jong-il outfits. <laughs> um, I could see her just walking up. Do you think like she's a evolving into shot him? to somebody, and then they Kim Jong him. killed some Did guy, with a, one of his generals, with an anti-aircraft cannon? That's fucking hilarious. You see that? Yes. That was, that was I mean, gnarly. Yeah. That's just like... You, you ask a six-year-old that's angry how you're going to kill somebody, I'm going to shoot a missile at him. From from like oh, far away, like no, right there. <laughs> like, oh shit, dude! <laughs> what does that do to a body? Oh, uh, it, to shoot him with it? What did he shoot him with? A yeah, disco or something? It. No, 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 no. They shot him with a uh, probably a twenty three millimeter. Oh my god! Anti aircraft cannon. Show him how big a twenty three millimeter. How round far is. away is that? It's the size of your fist. Oh bro. yeah, I've oh, seen. They, they, yeah. Sh they shot and with the over pressure wave, it would range. cut you in half. No, no, no. It it took pretty much from like the bottom of his ribs just. Was liquefied and up. Uh, <laughs> wow! Like, At least it's quick. Come on. Come on. 
Yeah. Right, we, we, we're going to have to show him like, we're going to have to show him some videos. I'd love to this. see it. Yeah, um, we'll see yeah, it. We'll we show should, you that one. I'll show you. Uh, we should yeah. stream it on ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Put it on there. I don't main know if page. we could do that. You know, I don't know if we could do that. Uh, look, you could get a hidden code for it. That code is drinking bros. Um, no. Look, if you're uh, a member of the military or if you were a member of the first responder community, you get 15% off everything in the store forever. Pillows, sheets, mattresses, you name it. Uh, their 36-month pay-as-you-go program is the business. Uh, no interest. And it, it works out to like 38 bucks a month for a fucking bed, man. Nobody in the, in the world is doing that right now. Also, if you're a regular civilian like ourselves over here on this side of the table, the Black Friday deals are coming up and they're monstrous. Um, almost as big as uh, that guy's dick you were talking about it earlier. It was big, son. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. His name was Jim. Big deal. Big Jim. You got a I'm big Jim deal coming up for you. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. M- look, mind your business. Hey, you don't know right what there. this is. Mind your B, dude. I'm working, right on, I'm working on the cuffing contract. Yeah, we're ah. late. We're late on it. We, we are. are late. It's fine. We are. Just it's relax. only November 13th. We everybody's can, everybody's doing their courting. We'll, yeah. yeah. We'll backdate it. Uh, Israel yeah, is under <laughs> attack from Gaza after IDF assassinates Islamic Jihad leader in a targeted airstrike. About 190 rockets flew into Israel on Tuesday, or what you call that in Israel is just Tuesday. Tuesday yeah. Um, after Baha Abu Ata, um, the head of uh, Islamic Jihad, I'm I'm giving a half-hearted attempt at, at his name, but I just after Abu I leave it. Baha alone. Abu uh, Alata, w- whatever. As Aga Aga Aga, not gonna live anymore. No, he's um, he dead. He dead. He's gone. Uh, both Islamic Jihad and Hamas vowed strong responses to the killing. <laughs> they always do. This is the largest attack against Israel uh, since the uh, old IJ fired 600 rockets into Israel in May of this year. I got a buddy who lives there. Right, full time. Where? Um, in uh, right outside of Jerusalem. Which side, east or west? I don't. I've never been there. Hmm. Next to the Wailing Wall. That's the only thing I know about Israel right now. Um, either way, uh, they, they go. It's out. fine. You don't need to know. No. Why do you I need don't. to know? Um, anyways, he was like, "Oh, you got to come and party here. It's fucking crazy." And I was like, "Why is it so crazy?" And he was like, "Oh, you know, you get on these party buses, you drink." And mm-hmm. he's like, "You can just hear rockets going off like above you, around you, all night long." And the clubs just rage around the rocket strikes. And I was like, does this happen all the time? And he goes, all the fucking time over here. Yeah, I'm all set on that, homeboy. Same here. So when I read shit like this, I just breeze by it because I assume it happens twice a week. This one's a little more serious, obviously. I mean, there's, there's, been, there's probably like, I don't know, three or four instances of major rocket attacks like this a year now. Uh, yeah. And it, it's usually in retaliation for something that Israel did to a, a terrorist leader. Either Islamic Jihad or fucking uh, Hezbollah or something like that. Or and, Hamas. Right? And it's all you know based on religion and <laughs> bullshit. And uh, this is going to keep going on for... I don't know if it's based... I don't think it's based on religion anymore. For the, for the Islamic side, it's based on religion a little bit. For the Israelis, don't give a shit about religion like that. It's culture and land and shit. But it does bring up some interesting questions to me, right? So we all... Well, maybe you don't, but the general history is after World War II... Fran- France and England decided to carve up a lot of stuff, mm-hmm. uh, including Palestine, which was not a state before. A lot of people operate under this premise that Palestinian land was stolen. Like Palestinian people and Jewish people lived there, and so did Transjordians, and that became Jordan later. A lot of stuff happened there, but nobody really, <laughs> nobody had a fucking um, a title or a deed of ownership to that land. Now. They did, the Europeans did what they thought was an equ- equitable distribution of the land between Palestinians, which didn't exist before, right? The, the, the phrase Palestinian was around, but there wasn't, there wasn't like a Palestinian people that was like the Kurds or something like that. So they created this country called Palestine, divided the other part into fucking Israel, and offered it as a solution, right? <clears throat> the Palestinians decided to go to war instead and they lost and when you lose wars you don't get to decide the outcome typically yeah you don't get your country back and that's right. kind of the rules to that so stage. that was then and i understand that makes sense their leadership fucked up and they fucked them big time for years to come but you can't operate under that premise forever like israel has continued to push into 
Palestinian-held territories and build settlements for Israelis. And that's why they're getting attacked most of the time, in my opinion. Um, On your level of care scale. I don't care. One so 10, is this yeah. pretty much like Texas and Mexico, like constantly at war since or, the 1800s? Or, you know, they're selling colonies on the Kinda, moon yeah. right now. Yeah, like if, like, but if, yeah. but if Texas kept pushing <clears throat> in to Mexico and. Nope. Yeah. And, se- and, and giving Texas more land and then yeah. Mexico fighting if, back. If, Amer- if the United States, out. for example, started like <laughs> inching its way into Mexico and, and annexing land and building American settlements on it, Mexico would have something to say about that probably. I don't think it'd do anything. They would. They anything. would absolutely do stuff. Yeah, yeah, the corrupt Mexican police down there would fucking be probably conducting guerrilla warfare against us. Take one no, of those uh, those uh, m- those rocket launchers right to their chest. On the level <laughs> oh, down a there. Rocket launcher to the chest. Huh? Yeah. Um, <coughs> they would never. Here's what I'm asking. So, uh, I want to know what it, what it means to be a terrorist organization. I know that the FBI loosely defines terrorism mm-hmm. as any action or threat of action or violence or threat of violence towards a political goal, basically. That's reductive, but that's basically what it is. But is it is it defined based on certain tactics, like guerrilla warfare or suicide bombing or attacks against a p- populace? Because, look, if that's it, then Israel conducts guerrilla warfare in Palestine all the time, and they target the civilian... They don't target the civilian population in, in words, but they just happen to call it collateral damage, right? They fire a rocket into a group of people and like, oh, those guys shouldn't have been standing there. And How big is Palestine? Not. Big. Right. So why do you care anymore? Why, why, why does anybody care anymore? Because they're people. Yeah, they're but human beings. You can move on from wherever you were. Like that, that's the way I look it's at it. It's actually not true, though. So if you talk about uh, the West Bank um, in Gaza, which is where most of the Palestinians live there, mm-hmm. um, they're blockaded now. So uh, they have sea access but there is a naval blockade out there so the supplies cannot come in there all the supplies have to go through israeli controlled territory and it's limited but you could take a boat out of there and go to another no country, you cannot right? nope so you're you have stuck to go through israel you lands. have to go through israel and get a visa through the israeli government to do that all right so these people who are their sworn enemy and granted their leadership fucked them up i got it but this these people that are their sworn enemy stand in the way between them and going anywhere else in the world that's not okay obviously people are going to get butthurt about that so I'm not saying that Palestine's right. Actually, they are the aggressor. Probably nine times out of every ten that some bullshit goes down, they're the fucking ones at fault, I would say. But yeah. at some point you have to ask yourself why. Why is it continuing? And I don't like the victim blame. I think uh, half, half, 80% of the Middle East wants Israel to not exist. And I don't mean as a state. I mean as a people, which is problematic, obviously. And uh, we can't let that happen. Even if you don't agree with Israel as a state, we can't let that fail because it's the only democracy there. And it's kind of funny to put a thumb in their eye, too. I'm into that. Yeah. But <clears throat> the idea that they can continuously push into these people's land that they've gotten is basically a consolation prize and uh, blockade them in there so they can't move freely in and out of it, that's, there's going to be consequences of that. And I have to ask, here's the question I ask myself. It's not necessarily about that situation. It's about U.S. involvement in it and how much we should, because we give them billions of dollars a year. Yeah. Billions. And most of the wars that we're currently engaged in are because of our relationship with Israel. So how long are we going to fucking let this rope out to hang ourselves with? Well, I, I, I look at it, too, from the moon standpoint, right, with the moon colonies that are for sale right now. Um, how long are we going to go without owning our stake in the moon? You're talking about making a Drinky Bros camp on the moon. Yes. I want to own a state yeah, on the moon. I want to own I'm a not, moon I'm colony. not down with the moon. I'm over the moon. Why? The moon's fake. The, the moon is, is completely real, Jared. I mean, yeah, I, I just don't think it it's as is important. important. It's, it's, only, it's only fucking thing is the tides. Like, yeah. And, I mean, we can figure something out to make our own tides. I think you're right about that, that people make a bigger deal about the moon. Yeah. It's not a big than deal. Than they should. Yeah. <laughs> You know I what wish, I mean? I wish a company would, would send missiles to the moon to design a giant ad. Like, so every time we looked at the moon, it just it was the Coca-Cola By the way, they logo. are working on that, and that is a, a very distinct possibility. <laughs> I hope, I hope. So there's a company out of Russia right now um, that I has a, yeah, technology. It's basically a big billboard. Yes. Yeah. 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 I hope I hope another country does it first, too. Like, Please. Just so that would just be like, awesome. Ugh. <laughs> What's the what would be the rules behind that? I wonder. <laughs> well, there are no ju- rules behind it. If I mean, you projected a, if you just projected a, a white claw symbol on the moon, that'd right? be hilarious. Like I would the, laugh. Like so the bat hard. symbol. Yeah, 
I mean, and that was your moon. Like, you, you, hey, kids, let's go look at the moon. You oh, could, it's a white claw symbol. You could probably use a laser to do that. Well, For so sure. There is, there is a, a place that has the patents. Now they're trying to figure out airspace and what the legalities of yeah. it are. Because you'd be showing it, you know, everybody in the world would be seeing yeah. this image projected onto the moon. That'd be dope. So, I mean, I'd not like projected. I think, you, I think you bomb it into the surface of the moon. That way, so it's permanent. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep shooting bombs at the thing that keeps us in geo orbit. So that if any nerds like are looking through the um, telescope, mm -hmm. any dorks? No, I want it to be so big. <laughs> it takes up, I want it to be so then big it takes up the see. whole moon. So that what, you yeah. see it yeah, when you you're looking out, you're like, at Well, the moon oh, is a yeah. sphere. How would you that mean like one be? face of the moon? Yeah, yeah, one face of the moon. Exactly. So you would see it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. No, you would always see it. We always see the same side of the moon. Oh. It's It rotates at the same pace as we do. Yeah, and not to cut you and off on the... only nerds know that kind of exactly. stuff. Exactly. Now, the, you it, could it, know it because you go up any time, you could see the same three fucking caverns in the moon. Again, only if you're a dork. No, you can literally walk outside No, 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 yeah. Only if, it's it. just if you pay attention. Your, but still, I mean, it's fake. <laughs> All it does is our fucking tides. <laughs> like, that's it. We could, invent, we could invent our own tides. You know the moon, moon. moon? You know how the moon came about, right? Uh, no. It, uh, was, uh, it was a rock from something? A Mars-sized object hit the Earth. Yeah. Right? went into the center of it. The, the Earth basically ate it, but it blew off the crust, and the crust went into orbit, kind of like Saturn's rings, and through a process called accretion, which is basically all that stuff slamming into each other, yeah. it formed that celestial body. Uh, and a fun fact, in your guest bedroom last night, uh, Jared created accretion with a stranger. No, that's a secretion. A uh, secretion. But oh. he was, it was just okay. two masses slamming just into each other, right? Two uh, masses. I, her hand wallet, you mean? And oh, his wiener? Huh. Oh, ham man, wallet. I have not heard uh, wow. the phrase. You see, you and we're back. Ham just, speaking of ham, I'm not anti-Israel for all you fucking dummies out there. I'm just asking the question. Let's have a conversation about this. We should, point. but I, look, I, the way I look at it is Israel and the, 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 in Palestine, that whole sitch is a shit show. It will oh, yeah. never It'll never go end. Away, no. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that will go on. Way, way, way past I don't know my why, life. I don't know why. why Israelis even want to be there. It fucking sucks, dude. I don't know why anybody why wants to be in the Why Middle don't they East? annex like Costa Rica or some there shit? There you go. Yeah. This well, right a fake of religious text. Some tropical islands. What's going on in Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico? Yeah. A lot, Puerto. Of, um, a lot of puertos being open. That's doors. Well, a lot of Before we get to that, let's talk about a, uh, this movie that you're in. Oh, we got a big, we got a big one coming it's out here. It's called A Grunt's oh, Life. A Grunt's hey. Life. A Grunt's <laughs> Life. Yes. <laughs> Is uh, coming out. The world premiere is coming up this weekend, correct? I believe yep. so. There's a lot of people. Are, are you on going? It. Yeah, I'll, it's Friday at Fort Bragg. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow Somebody night. He said, "I believe so." Yeah, yeah, I believe what so. You, he never you? knows where he's really gonna be. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like that meeting that we were supposed to have on the cruise, where he instead got blackout drunk at the I, fucking pool. I don't remember either of those things. Yep. So yeah, it's what blacking out so does. It never happened. Turns. You can't say that there was a meeting. No, you can't black out and say you don't remember because that's what blacking out is. But you still chose to black out, you fuck. Yeah. Well, it was a dirty trick to ask what him to come meeting? to a meeting when he was blackout drunk. Uh, you no, like, no, no, that no. was, was not right. setting It was his meeting. cruise for the following year. No, oh. we set it up the night that he was blacked out. Yes. Oh. But wasn't that your idea? Wasn't it his idea? <laughs> no. Oh, that's what I heard. So Yeah. Oh. You're a little okay on that one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he you're was, fine. He was set up. You know, At any rate, with you. But I spent movie. my time... With the drinking bros in the pool that day. You did. That was no, you did exactly you're, you're what you hero. needed to do. You're a you hero. Would, yeah. Yeah, you are. He, and you played a hero Jared in this wasn't movie. There? Jared, Jared is a hero, Who actually. would have hung out with the people in the pool? You, Dan? No. no exactly. So no. he did exactly. He in his room. No, I was, I was fine. A a lot lot of, I hung out a lot. You yeah, were, you did, uh, you did hang out. brother. <laughs> You did hang out I didn't a get fucking bit. blackout drunk at 10 a.m., so I'm getting heat now. Yeah. Yeah. No. Because yeah. it's the Drinking Bros cruise. It's no. the Drinking Bros cruise. The no. person that did the best job on the Drinking Bros cruise. Thank you. Was Jared. Thank you. No. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. He hung out hey, with most people. He I drank got, the most booze. I got the he audience MVP the award, he had the most too. Sex. They said the best. Part of the cruise was when I got off stage, laid on the floor, and said, fuck you all to the audience. The best yeah, part true. I heard was when you said, <laughs> when you were there playing the piano, yeah. and everyone came in and you said, surprise! surprise. <laughs> uh, the best part of the cruise for me was, ladies and gentlemen, here is Wonderwall. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was good. That was good. Uh, yeah. I think that you, was after surprise. I think you may have ruined Danny's life. That day, while while I'm sleeveless, yeah. in a black rifle nah, shirt, he you're loved sweating. It. Your best life. He loved yeah. every. So, anyways, second of how was the grunt's movie? life? By the way, yeah. Have you seen it? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I mean, it, it was a show. 
He recut it into a movie. Uh, went back and did a really good sound pass. Cut a little fat off, like one of the other long scenes that I was in got cut out of the movie. But yeah, yeah, it's, it happens. It's Donnie. It's very Donnie. It's very Donnie. Uh, do you get to see his dick in this? I mean, I think you see parts of it. Parts of it. I didn't see a part of a dick. You like see the, the, shaft the, the, the head base and, then and the, the tip, head. but not the neck. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's not oh. the neck, you know. No balls. I, I don't see Donnie's so. balls yeah. at all. I, don't I play. Uh, I play a J Tac. <laughs> Okay. So that was difficult. What did you, know? you do to get into that role? Uh, well, you know, Donnie had me out to San Diego first, uh, said that there was a role on the table, mm -hmm. presented me a couch. Ah. He had a handy cam. Yes. Sure. Things happened. They did. Yeah. We Rectally. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys bang? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. Donnie's not a bad looking dude. No. No, no he's a good looking dude. No, no. I mean, yeah, he's fun to wake up next to. He's not a very good morning person, though. I it's heard a, a really grumpy. funny story about. I gotta Connie. tickle him a lot. Can I tell it? What is it? Um, you're a since grumpy we're morning about, person. Yeah, what? I, I'm you're a great grumpy morning. Person. No, you're, you're terrible. Grumpy. Do you want to no, save I'm this not. for when you're Donnie's on the pants, show? Yeah. So yeah. No, I I've don't never, actually. Okay. I've never I want to tell the story first and then ask Donnie to confirm it because if it isn't true. Yeah, let's put let's put the fake information out there first and then we'll ask him to deny it later. Yeah, know what this is. Did I tell you this? Uh, I forget. I forget who told me this, but anyways, uh, there was a. You guys were all shooting, filming something. Maybe Jack told me this. You guys were all filming something, and there was a girl there. And maybe um, we don't tell this story. No, this is actually really funny. I'm okay. not gonna. I'm not gonna name any names, right? Um, except for Donnie's, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> there was a girl there who, who was with this dude, and she was. Uh, she was like, "Hey, do you, uh, you, you want to have sex or whatever?" And, she, and uh, or he had asked her, "Do you want to have sex?" And uh, she was like, "Well." I mean, I guess you're fine, but I, I kind of really just really wanted to fuck Donnie. And he was just like, oh, all right, cool. Um, and then she came back 10 minutes later, and he was like, oh, do you, did you have sex with Donnie? Did you? She goes, no, he just said he didn't want to be bothered because it's too early. <laughs> <laughs> so she goes, I guess I'll have sex with you. <laughs> that, was, that was it. Uh, Donnie sentences. just don't want to be bothered sometimes. No, just Donnie did hey, not want to be bothered power. in the He's morning. All, he is power. all about his process for yeah. sure. I, what, 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 is yeah. his, what is his process? What do you do? When do we bother? So I was like, what time of, the, of day is this? And they were like, 9, 30, 10 in the morning. And I was like, what time does Donnie get up then? And I was like, oh, <laughs> all right. I, I, what is his process? Then? He's up late. He's up. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's he's up his late. process. He's, okay. yeah, he's up late. He gets, you know, he gets loose and brights at night. Oh, gotcha. Like, kind of gotcha, like you gotcha. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, look, I, I understand that. When, when you're single, who gives a fuck, right? Yeah. So. I just, I, I can't imagine, like, being in my room and a sexy lady walks in and is like, I'm here for the sex. And I'm like, I'm sorry. See your way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> you would never. Like, I, would, I would absolutely do that. Yes, no. You would, you would say, see you later? I wouldn't say it that way, like a gay and like, a fucking... Well, there was like a lot the, of like sentences in this story that out. didn't seem right to me. Like... What do you mean? No, I know Donnie. He doesn't talk like either one of these. Well, things. just her being like, hey, or some guy being like, hey, do you want to have sex? And she said, no, I don't want to have sex with you. I want to have sex with Donnie. I've definitely There's heard that before, though. a lot of, like, though. sentences no, no, no. that I didn't mean, yes, sound right. It's like a bag a of rough. sand. The sentences are a little we rough. We are way off track yes. here. Uh, what was track? The gist of There's it. definitely been times where it's like, hey, are you sleeping in my room tonight? And they're like, no. I'm sleeping in his room tonight. Yeah. Oh, that okay. sounds like yeah. real sentences that people say. <clears throat> oh, yeah, whatever. well, I mean, if you added the word the, do you want to have the sex? Right. No, I don't want to have the sex. Would you like to yeah. smoke a drug cigarette with me? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm not a cop. Uh, the long and short of it, Donnie was too tired at 930. It was Listen, like, no, Donnie, I'm good. Donnie is devoted to his work. That's all I can say. He, he is, is he a is grunt's very, life. He is very you will enjoy if you enjoy this show, you'll enjoy Grunt's Life. It's it's super, so where it's can everybody come show. and see you guys Friday night? Uh we're <coughs> at the VFW post six seventy in Fayetteville, North Carolina. What time is the uh show starts? I am going to pull up the details now. Yeah. For all of the people. There's also one in Jacksonville at the Camp Lejeune on Saturday night. Okay. That's this weekend, Great. Saturday. And uh, you can you can go watch the movie if you don't if you can't make it to one of these screenings you can go watch it at gruntslife dot com you can find it yes there. Friday six p.m. Fort Bragg Vietnam North Carolina the VFW post six seven zero awesome come see us we'll be there Friday I'll be I'll be getting blackout I'm gonna test out some new material that night 
Great. Try a quick 15. Why not? You know what? Why not? <laughs> Just go for it, you know? Uh. I love it. Dan, are you going? Not Friday, no. Not Friday. Donnie keeps saying I am, but well, I don't Donnie's know Donnie's doing the show. He's Donnie's to advertising show Saturday, that you're yeah. going to be there Friday. I know. He keeps saying that. I'm like, I never said that, Maybe bro. you need to go. Yeah, then. maybe you need to go, Dan. No, uh, he's going to be here in studio, though, way. on Saturday, correct? Yes. Yeah, he'll be here Saturday, and then we'll Saturday. probably go to his thing at Lejeune Saturday. You you will go there, yeah. Yeah, probably, uh, but you, not on you, Friday. You will go there. Like, yeah. I, we you, were never planning. He was going Friday. I think Donnie's just confused because he smokes the druggas. Yeah. Well, it's legal in California. Is it? California. Yeah, yeah. California. It's not legal here. California, yeah. You know where else it's legal? It's Puerto Rico. Is it? Uh, is it? Nope. Is I don't it? I think so. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I think you do whatever you want down there. It's Puerto Rico, right? Yeah, Puerto Rico is pretty legal. I mean, there's no laws now because all the government's gone. Yeah. Uh, isn't the phrase down there, let's go Puerto Rico? No. Huh? Maybe they have a soccer be. team. Have you been to Puerto Rico? Uh, I have not, actually. I've been a number of times. I've never heard <laughs> anyone say what you just said. Let's go Puerto Rico. No, yeah, it's I've mostly been to Spanish, Let's go Puerto Rico actually. tonight, dude. Let's go. <laughs> been to Puerto Rico. Maybe that's what they're saying in Spanish. I don't hey, know. I've been to yeah. Puerto Rico. Oh, by the way, we watched Pool Boy last night. Hey, ah. I've been to Puerto Rico. Crazy. Hey, crazy Jared, fucking movie. Hey, Jared's been to Puerto hey, Rico. Hey, I've been to Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, one he time. He just wanted you guys so? to know. To do construction or something. You didn't even do any construction. I did a rebuild. I I was tired. And hung over. Yep. Mm. Oh, did you like, go out there? He went down there to do charity work, and no. he just didn't do shit the whole time. Did you? That is a lie. No. He I went with Travis Pastrana last yeah. year. I was sweating. Ooh, you sweated. That's there. when he got the mullet the first time. Yeah. That's where he did oh. get the uh, mule. Anyways, yeah, Puerto, Puerto Rico's Rico. infra. Yeah, let you, let's go Puerto Rico is what everybody says. It's what Infrastructure, everybody says. There, it's failing um, as federal aid remains on hold. I, I don't know what the fuck they're going to do with this. I mean, I, I guess... I want to talk about, uh, you know, the, all you're hearing is, is the White House saying, hey, we're withholding money from Puerto Rico. Yeah, and the, of but course, they've got the a media crooked wants to fucking make government down there that yeah. is holding the aid from the people. We've had a bunch of friends who've gone down there to help after. Um, yeah, Kit Cope went down there yep. for like six months. Uh, you guys have gone down there. I don't, I don't, there's a lot Jared's of our friends have gone down, down there. Down. But yeah. they're with, and you can yeah. see it from drone footage. I, I don't know if it was Kit's or someone else's. There's just cases of water and supplies and aid. It's just sitting at a camp, but they can't distribute it because there's no security and the government is corrupt as fuck. Right. So what the White House is saying, and it's not just the White House, by the way, it's a lot of people, is that let's protect our taxpayers and the people of Puerto Rico and not keep dumping money. Because, look, this is how this is how insurgencies begin. Yeah. Like you fucking find a destabilized government and you go in there and everybody's dumping aid money into it and you start using it to fucking prop up your goddamn criminal enterprises. That's how it fucking works. You can get land really cheap right now down there. Yeah, you can do you can do that. Yeah, you can. There's a lot of development going Should on. Should right we? Now. Yeah. We we, we Jesse we and have I have some a headquarters friends. down there. We have a friend that we saw. Well, you know, if you if you build if, right. if you build a, a, if you build your headquarters, if you build a house down there and you spend 51% of your time down there, you don't have to pay federal tax. At yeah. all. You pay zero. So there's tax. some like entre- entrepreneurs, some tech. There's a bunch Bitcoin. of tech people that are buying oh, uh, people. land with are. Bitcoin yeah. right now. Yeah, of course. And, and being like, we are. One of them happens to be a friend of trying mine. To help like, yeah, the people. we're trying to help the people. <laughs> no, you're They're a, just getting the tax. You're a vulture. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. That's what Correct. you are. Correct. The point of all this is, is uh, Puerto Rico I mean, can has. Can you blame them? I mean, what do we. What, uh, you you, you want to protect your money so the government doesn't waste it on this impeachment hearing? Well, here's the deal. I, mean, though. I don't we, blame them. No, we I don't right. blame them. Right. Yeah, we yeah. spend a shitload of money on Puerto Rico, and they've had the opportunity twice to become a state and get full protection of the U.S. government, and they don't want that. How long are we going to continue propping up these failed state territories? Like, What's the benefit of, uh, for us? The only, the only benefit is that it doesn't turn into another Cuba. That's what we're trying to protect against, right? Yeah. So what's the solution there? T-shirts that say "Let's go Puerto God Rico" on them. Fucking you can damn raise it, so much money. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Know. Who wants to wear that? A Ooh, country needs a catchphrase, that. brother. We make America great Still again. Right. Boom. How many does that sell? Make we're, America great we're actually, again. We're actually making education great again. By we the are. Way. You and I. Mega. Mega. Hashtag mega. That's our fucking campaign now. Making education great again. Mega. Hashtag mega. Mega, mega dude. Mega. Well, you guys are going to be my only friends now. So. Well. You're welcome. Why? You think the PTA is going to kick you out because everybody, everybody, <laughs> it's fine. If you're thirsty though, Jared, right behind you is a little bit of water. Uh, that is, that's that from is actually from Flint. That is Flint water. <laughs> do don't want to drink, drink that. that. Uh, <laughs> we had a listener send have in you, Flint water. Have you uh, have you caught any backlash at school by the moms <laughs> since uh, he started this? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Like like what? People just don't understand. 
What, what, what don't they understand? They don't understand who we are as human beings? or Well, they don't the understand <laughs> that everyone's uh, name and pictures and address is very easily found by anyone. Well, yeah. so here, here's the law. so they're just like putting their name out there, putting their picture. Like, that's not, I'm like, that's what it is. Public, they're public, they're public, public office. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. so. Uh, We're not going to the put their home addresses getting, up there or anything, but I will but absolutely again, put a way to contact them. Their home address is up there. Yeah, so, you, you, so when, when you run, you have to put your home address, yeah. uh, where you live, and that's what being a public servant is. Right. It is, yeah, but we're not going to publish that. We're no, not trying no. to dox anybody. But no. if somebody's fucking up, I will put your email address and phone number, just right. like Drinker Bros did to Lindsey Graham this morning. By the way, we're yeah. going to be rich. This is a big story, actually. Rich and his attorney, Natalie Kwam, are going to be on the show Monday. 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 I don't, I don't know. It'll probably show. post Wednesday. It won't be up Monday. Yeah, right. the, the show will probably post uh, yeah. Wednesday. So next but again, Wednesday, yeah. look, you come on the show, uh, you talk about something you believe in, and then you know, look, the actual people will come on the show, and we'll make an actual difference in our yeah. community. Um, but yeah, the, the info we posted is public knowledge. Yeah, so, and so uh, uh, the people that I'm getting backlash from are just uh, home Bodies, house, are you, are you having fun with this? Yeah, oh, we call, yeah, Bernie, awesome. we call had, Bernie moms. Yeah, I had yeah. no no say in this whatsoever, but I'm definitely getting the backlash from it. But I do realize it's only from people that don't understand how yeah. Google works. Politics, yeah. yeah. And how just anyone. Yeah. Like, Is if there you like wanted a, to find out how much anyone makes, where they live, what I mean, you can find it out very, very yeah. easily. If you'd like and to like send you're those. you're putting their name out there. It's like you their can, name, it's fucking out there. You can there. send those complaints to my office and I'll deal with them. That yes. would be great. Okay. And you know, you know where that office is? At the school board of New Hampshire. That will County. Help. That we will, will help be there cause, November sure. 20. Yeah, what's your 20. cause exactly? To mitigate bullshit? Because no, I guarantee no. you won't hear another word out of these people after I fuck them up. No, I know. And, and that's why <laughs> I said physically. you guys are going to be my Not only physically. friends. I fuck people up with the truth. From this point on. It's great. Yeah. Just fine with not, me. I mean, until they get elected. <clears throat> Then yeah, yeah and then everyone will want to be my friend like, again. Oh my yes. we'll, we'll buy new yes. friends with all that sweet cash we make from being on the school board. <laughs> Thanks, that's buddy. What I think that's it's like $12 good. a year yeah, or something exactly. like that. It's really not that much. It's, it's, it's more not. Yeah, yeah. You, make, you make $12. And, and again, I don't, if we were doing <laughs> it for money, they would. this would be the last job you take on the planet. Yeah, we're actually that. doing it for a reason. But uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> but what to your point about everybody being your friend again, that's exactly what fucking happens. You oh, get yeah. elected to this shit, and then everybody hits you up for, oh, my God, I need this, or I need this, or I need that. And you see it in like, politics Where were you? Yeah. The, There's the a guy people. in my neighborhood that could have fucking helped me out. <laughs> she didn't do shit. Yeah. And it's like, all right, cool, man. Uh, You're going to remember that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to remember that. Um, and then the mayor thing, too, I looked into. Uh, Mm Because that was another thing. You were talking about running on the show. Yeah. Um, People hit us up. I did not know this. The the mayor was Democrat. There wasn't a Republican candidate that ran against him whatsoever. The other guy that was running was actually another Democrat. So he's been Sappho. Bill Sappho has been a Democratic mayor of this town for 12 years. He's Democrat? Yes. If a Republican (laughs) ran, that would Mm. be pretty much it. Yeah. So we should look into this because I would make a great mayor. Test me. Yeah, why don't you yeah, move? Yeah, yeah. I would make a great mayor. Move yeah. here and become mayor of the town, and we'll control. Oh, this that whole was one of the town. things I said yeah. on the on the show that the video that posted yesterday. I was like, "Look, there's three seats available right now on the school board," and I go, "God forbid our other fucking co-host moves there, then we have all three, and mm-hmm. we have three out of seven seats on the board." So. Be careful what you say, because Jared Taylor's not afraid to pick up his shit and move in the middle of the no, night anywhere. No, I'll and, and you know what. I'll become the mayor, and then I'll become the most popular mayor on Twitter because I'll fuck all these guys up all the time. Could you imagine if you oh, were mayor? I would, I would go, <laughs> I would go ham every weekend. They'd be like, "You said time. what?" I'd be like, "I did, I yeah. did." <laughs> Vote me out. You know how many stories we'd have in the city of like, "Hey man, I got drunk with the mayor in Wilmington last yeah. night." I'd have, You'd I'd be have the buttons. Bill Murray. <laughs> I'd have buttons made. Like if you were part of my like cool crew, the mayor, the the Wilmington mayor cool crew. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, I'll give you a button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody I'll give knows. You a oh, I can't fuck with that dude. Fucks with the mayor. Yeah. I can't fuck with him. Man, I get drunk How with the mayor. I would, I, would throw, I would throw Thursday night parties for all the P- Wilmington PD every, <laughs> oh, yeah. every Thursday. <laughs> it's just free McDonald's and booze. Like, oh, that'd be great. Yeah. You'd be we, the most popular mayor. Oh, all yeah. Time. Like the, the cops, the fire department, hang out at the fire stations. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd, I would take, I would get my uh, fire truck driver's license. So I could drive the fire truck. So if there ever was a big fire, they're like, well, the mayor drove the fucking fire truck there. Yeah. You, I mean, fucking how cool is that? It's the mayor, yeah. dude. The fucking mayor's there fighting fires. Where if were you, you at? If you ever would do that, that would be Hey, amazing. you know, there's, 
we talked about state representative too, which yeah. is like not not Congress, but district. Like, yeah, it's there's three in New Hanover County. There's three representatives here. Mm. Oh, so that's our I next. Think I, I think, actually, I've met one of them actually. <clears throat> Uh, re- do you know the three? Are they all Deb from? Butler, Ted Davis Jr., and Holly Grange? Uh, I'm incorrect. I've met none of them. So um, I'm just saying this is yeah. this is our future. <clears throat> yeah, this is our future. Once we what clean up the, the New Hanover team. County School Board, we're going to the state assembly. Yeah, yeah, uh, and taking this town, and this town for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mayor would be fun though. That'd yeah, be great. Yeah, um, I would. I would build a new a new capital in Wilmington. Oh man, yeah. with your own I money, would. probably. No, no, I would do it. I would do it. I would get uh, a, a, a sponsor. Do a GoFundMe. Yeah, <laughs> no, it'd be it'd be a sponsor. Brought to you, you by know? Pepsi. It'd be like <laughs> it'd be like the Black Rifle Coffee drink, like 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 building. You know, kind of like the <laughs> AT and T Center, except yeah. it's like yeah. Look, they're doing it in, in uh, the NFL, and it seems to be working out fine. They're successful. Hey, if you need something to drink, there's some Luke Belair over there. Yeah, there is. Oh, That's our man. next sponsor, LukeBelair dot com. L U C B E L A I R E dot com forward slash drinking bros talking about champers. When we win the election, we will be popping when bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles. So the primary is in March and then the actual election. And this is the fun part about this, by the way. Uh, the actual New Han- Hanover County uh, School Board election is the same day that Trump was up. So if we win the primary, we will we'll be on the ballot with Donald Trump. Okay. And that is pretty fucking. That's funny. And then, really? so when do you find out? If you guys uh, we would find out uh, that night or the next yeah, day. Yeah, that, that night. Yeah, uh, usually around 11 p.m. that night. Uh, so we'll know. We'll know that night. So I think we have to prep for the primaries <laughs> in January. Uh, February. Go hard. March. No, I thought January 2nd we were allowed to start. No, we're no, allowed to start December, December 3rd. Yeah, December 3rd we're allowed oh, to start. Okay. We're having a chili cook-off here. We're having a party here. Yeah. When's that? December uh, 3rd. December 3rd or 4th, 3rd. yes. Okay, yep. got it. And then and then we go hard with the ads. Correct. So we're doing a lot of commercials. I want to do a huge smear campaign against Bill. Uh, the, well, the mayor's well, we're already, not running already reelected. Bill. We're not running against the mayor. I mean, I, I thought Bill was the Oh, guy. Bill Rivenbark. Oh, yeah, Rivenbark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Bill but was, he's not running. He's not running. So he's going to have to sit on the book. He's not up for another two years. Um, okay. He's just the one that Which means he's got school district. He's got to do two years against us in chamber. Yeah. And we're going to be for every whomever runs against meeting. him. We're going to fucking campaign for those people. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Because fuck this guy. Exactly. Frankly. Perfect. Um, and then uh, nice. but after that, we'll be on the same ballot as Trump. Yep. In November. <clears throat> and uh, that'll be a fun thing. He's also the, the, here's the other fun part about all of this. The RNC this year is actually in North Carolina. So it's in Charlotte. Whose so we will get to go to that as well. Going after. Uh, there's three people there's three up people right up. now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so <laughs> one of them, you guys don't mind, right? Uh, uh, it's we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We're, we'll have a. It depends decision. on how things go in a couple of weeks. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. Um, like we've had a conversation with the guy, and he seemed reasonable. But we'll see if his if his deeds match his words, and if they don't, see you later, guy. Yeah. I, look, I I like to think that I run my ship like a Russian police officer. I'm stern, but I'm fair. You know. So mm-hmm. we'll see. Fair with with bribes. No. No, no, no. no you're you fair it. skinned is what you mean. Fair skinned, yeah. yeah. Oh, Russian. Yeah. Okay, okay. Very fair I'm skinned. Fo- I'm uh, very Chernobyl I'm skin that I have. Uh, kind of reddish. Uh, but by the way, we will be celebrating with LukeBelair.com yeah. forward slash drinking bro champagne. Look, they they are <laughs> this is the best in the biz across the board. Number one rose in the world, best champers in the world. Yeah, it's this one right here. The pink bottle is the most yep. sold rose on earth. On earth. And what what they're doing is uh they're giving it to you half off here. It's twenty six bucks. Um just buy an eight pack for the holidays. You gotta go to everybody's house. You show up with a bottle of this. You got a case needs... I can take to uh, Fort Bragg. Yeah, really? actually. Fuck yes. yeah. Yes. Putting that in the old uh, the old race car out back. We'll get yeah. a little putt putt Rudy. Yeah, with, you will. With this champagne. I don't know what just Bel-Air. happened. There. I don't you know. just You just like transformed into this whole other person. What happened? Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I blacked out. Oh, my bad. Okay. Ah, either way. We'll uh, go to LukeBelair.com <laughs> forward slash Drinker Bros. And you can black out too. Again, <laughs> promo code Drinker Bros. They're going to give you the super for 26 bucks. It's the nicest champagne on earth. And everybody think you love them over the holidays. Uh, next. Except TV networks are blasting Trump with 96% negative news. I'm surprised that number isn't higher. I know. I don't think it can be. So to gather the data, the company that did the work compiled only evaluative statements made by broadcasters on ABC, CBS, and NBC Evening evening Newscast. So the major news of the day and only statements made that were opinion statements by the broadcaster, which is weird that they would be making opinion statements in the fucking first place because it's the goddamn news. At any point, at any rate, uh, 
96% of all of these statements since September 24th of this year have been negative. Yeah. I, again, it's really surprised this number isn't higher at a full 100. Keep in mind. That- I have not seen one news, <laughs> even the, the like David Muir, right, on yeah. ABC, who is the most trusted mo- newsman or whatever the fuck his catchphrase is. Yeah. Even him. It is so goddamn slanted that it's like, I, it's crazy to me that this number isn't at 100. Well, you've, you've seen it. <clears throat> and you're like, hey, man, this is crazy. Yeah, on every network. I'll basically. tell you what. Like, I, I find I caught local and national news recently the other day, and all they were talking about was this. Uh, you, you know, the U.S. the USC fucking scandal, buying, buying the oh with Aunt yeah. Becky, yeah. Aunt yeah. Becky. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's just like, again, we're that's still that. going. We're wasting money on rich people paying a, a couple hundred thousand dollars to get their kids into college, which colleges are private businesses. Who gives a fuck? Well, USC shit. certainly is Fuck private. off. Yeah. Like, so, yet we're know. ignoring the biggest story of the fucking century and just pushing it under the rug. But, you yeah. know, hey, man, Becky fucking bribed somebody. <laughs> yeah. What about this guy that raped all these kids? Oh, 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 we don't Honey, talk about that over dead, here. So that that kid over. rape thing. We're just not going to. But Aunt Becky yeah. bribed her way into college yeah. for her kid. Need her out. Yeah, but what about, the, what about the kid rape over there? No, 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 no not over there. Did you, did you see what's going on with Aunt Becky? And Felicity Huffman. <laughs> yeah. Already charged. Already did her 10 days. Did her yeah. 10 days already, and we're still fucking yeah. talking about her. Well, it looks like Ann Becky is going to get jail time, but at any rate, uh, keep in mind with all this, the negative news cover is 96%, right, over the last two months, basically. And Trump is running within the margin of error in every single poll inside battleground states in the U.S. The purpose of the news is to inform and I assume, since your constituents or your customers are the public, to represent the will of the public, right? Yeah. Not to just put salacious shit out, shit out there because it gets clicks or, or views or whatever the fucking case is. People want the news, and they can't get it anywhere. That's why they go to things like Project Veritas, and that guy's a knucklehead, right? Yeah. Every now and again, he breaks some, some real shit. But come on, man. You shouldn't have to go to some fucking turd on the internet to get your news. Well, that's kind of wow. where we are. You got four right in front of you. Four <laughs> turds. hi We're giving you the realest, fakest news this of the week. This is not news, though. What we do is commentary on the news. Kind of. It's not the same thing. I'm, yeah, we're not, we're not we're investigating. Not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not breaking stories or doing primary research or any of that shit. That's what these people's jobs are, and they're not doing it. Obviously. I saw Jared with a magnifying glass earlier. I did have something. one. I what broke, were you looking for? I broke, I broke some news. Story. What huh? was the news? <laughs> <laughs> that The gravel in the parking lot is only 40% cord. And, huh. it's, and it said 70% on the package. Wow. The gravel? Yeah. yeah. Oh, We're going to call the company. We'll sue these guys. That's yeah. what I'm saying. People so, are mislabeling fish. Here's That's some it. other fun tidbits. Uh, of the 172 times impeachment has been mentioned on one of these three major networks during an evening broadcast, mm-hmm. 57 of them, uh, 57% of them who, I'm sorry, 57% cite anonymous sources. So a plurality of, <laughs> of all the quote unquote sources that they quote are just like, Made up. I didn't say that, but made up. You know how journalism works. Yeah. If you, I, I don't know if, if you guys are familiar with how journalism works, especially back in the day with newspapers. But if you come to your editor with a story that you don't have art for, art meaning a picture, or a video, or something like that, or a name with a direct quote, they're they're gonna tell you to get fucked. Like we're not printing this because if it's not real, or if it gets challenged and it's wrong. So whomever, even if it was a high level source that said it, if if it's if it's fake and it comes back on you, you get fucking hammered by all the other networks. Crushed. All the time. And you have to print retractions and all this other shit. There's no fucking way that this is news anymore. No. So what? where, where is the news then? Well, uh, we had this discussion on Ross Patterson Revolution <laughs> the other day. There's got to be someone who creates some either Facebook or app or something that is just stock standard news. The way it used to be, or everybody's just going to dip into podcasts with you know four idiots wearing coats and yeah. And a I mean, Matt at least Drudge we look hats. nice. This we do blue, look great. This blue really brings yeah. out my your eyes. eyes, even though I'm sick. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Com- I remember this uh, set a comedian used to do back in the day, and I remember who it was. But he said, "I'm tired of all the fucking expositional dialogue and news. Like, I don't want your opinion." So the 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 headline, "Brutal dictator killed." No, dictator killed. And you print the story, and I'll decide if he's fucking brutal or not. Like that's how it should work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we, we I don't need that to be. That was a joke. 
Yeah, it wasn't a to, joke. It was this commentary on okay. like how okay. fucking stupid everything's become. Yeah. So I, I don't know. It was. It's very similar to when uh, Baghdadi got killed, right? Yeah. You saw that they, the New York Times, changed the article after it got Washington, released. Washington Post. Oh, Washington, Washington Post. Post yeah. yeah. Uh, same thing. Yeah. Uh, more or less. <laughs> Both of the same. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, or but they changed it to what was he a <laughs> scholar or religious scholar? That's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. I mean, I guess he's a fucking yeah. terrorist. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, so it's like when uh, when uh, what's her name, Elian Omar said some people did some stuff. Oh yeah, or the oh, planes mean, decided to. Yeah, or planes flew into a building flew somewhere. Into the building so now you're by all themselves. mad at Muslims. Like, no, they. <laughs> my guns haven't shot anybody on their own, and yep. planes don't just fly into buildings, honey. Yep. Yeah, uh, which we'll get to that in a second. Uh, you know what's not negative though is Box of Awesome dot com. Uh, is that a forward slash drinking bros on Box of Awesome or is yeah. that a promo code? Forward slash. Uh, Box of Awesome dot com forward slash drinking bros. Look, we've been getting this for god damn man, seven or eight months now at this point. It's one of my favorites. It's like getting Brookstone. I'm actually waiting on my new one right now. I know. Getting uh, very impatient. The, actually, you know it's box of awesome dot com and then use the code drinking bros. Yes, it is. So go to box of awesome dot com, promo code drinking bros, gets you twenty percent off a box. You fill a little five uh, question. Little uh, questionnaire, just about who you are as a person in this life. It's really funny, and uh, it actually matches up with your personality. And they'll send you a box once a month. It's like Christmas for dudes. Uh, I, I used your example the other day on the show of Birchbox. Yeah. You will you pay like a little fee and you get some tube of <laughs> lipstick or I get free samples <laughs> for ten dollars a month. <laughs> yeah, with this I get a real goddamn awesome gift. I've gotten a dop kit. I've gotten uh, travel bags. I've gotten whiskey decanters. I've gotten martini. Mm-hmm. I mean, you name it across the board, they Fucking, have it. Just uh, rad shit for dudes, like hatchets man. and shit. Yeah, they have nice. all kinds of weird shit. Yeah, it's the best, dude. Hatchets? The best. Yeah, for camping, Jesse. Not for murdering. Not God for, damn. God no, I damn want it. it. Oh, you want a hatchet? Yeah, well, I want a hatchet. I'll just buy you a hatchet if you want. Sign no, up. She doesn't need a hatchet. I'm gonna get. Hey, it. calm down, Jerry. Yeah, you don't. You don't need yeah, a hatchet. Yeah, you don't tell police. me what I need. I'm the hatchet police, and I say <laughs> no. Oh no, shit! Oh. You got a badge? Yeah, this is I hatchet do. police. It's right in here. <laughs> hatchet police. I'm not showing it to you. Yeah, you don't need to. You got to keep that thing under. Well. If you're out there and you need a hatchet in this <laughs> life, go to boxofawesome.com. Perhaps you'll get one. Promo code Drinking Bros, twenty percent off. I've been getting these boxes for seven months. It's the best day of the month. You do the thing where you like open your wallet for me. Make it look like. You flash your badge. Yeah, yeah. that's the hatchet police. Uh, yeah, everybody knows that move. Yeah, everybody knows that move. Kick the fucking door down. Hatchet police. <laughs> yeah. Show me all your hatchets. Like, sir, we don't have fucking hatchets. Uh, I know you got hatchets in here. It's I 20, know you told got me. hatchets. It's, it's 2019. Like, 12 people have hatchets. What are you doing? I need to see your hatchets. Uh, last Line story them up. of the day, and this is probably the most important what one. What is it? Is it about me? Uh, no, it, it, this boring. is the Supreme Court ruling. Um, <laughs> oh, this one's just annoying. That lets uh, Sandy Hook shooting uh, lawsuit go forward against the gun maker. This is dangerous. Yeah. Uh, so I, try to unpack this one if you can. How, how are you allowed to sue the gun makers? You shouldn't. You on shouldn't a weapon. Be like, what, what's, what's their, <clears throat> what is their, stand, one, their legal standing on this? Well, there's, there's no legal standing. We'll get into that. But the reason I think that's, that <gasps> the Supreme Court is letting this go through uh-huh. is because they just want to get it on the books and get it over with. That's what I think. Just that let they the kind case of happen because they're never going to win. No, no, I don't, think it's, I don't think they're trying to cover their ass. I think they want this to go through the court system so it can be a com- ruling, like ruled once and for all. Because and then you cite it. Yes, and, and go revert yeah. back. Because, I see what he's talking about. Because oh, okay, okay, okay. even okay. what I thought, even All the right. majority opinion uh-huh. said it would be a Herculean act, and they used that exact phrase to get this fucking uh, to get a favorable action in court on this suit. Yeah, that's. And what there's I was a couple of about. reasons why, and I'll go through those once he finishes. I was just saying when when I first heard this, at first I'm like, oh god, <laughs> what? And then the, I, I had the same thought process of you. How in the hell is any lawyer going to going to sell this? Like I, I mean, there's just so much defense against it. Yeah. Like, like the they're the, the the law team on on the manufacturer side are gonna chew through everything. <laughs> yep. Of of saying, show us where we're liable because I mean they even say it in their opening thing like, how could you how could you sell this to the public? Well, you know, uh, who is it? Remington. Yeah. Like like it's legal. They didn't sell this to. They sold it to a. They sold it to a distributor. Yeah. Right? Sold it Remington to a store. doesn't sell guns directly. Yes. That's one thing. So. The two, there's two main points that the lawsuit makes. One is that a weapon, quote-unquote, that dangerous 
should have never been offered to the public in, in the first place. Yeah, that's going to get fucking demolished. Yes, and the second part is that uh, they their marketing targeted younger at-risk males and marketing product placement in violent video games and other places. That was another one that's like, there, so, there's so many holes in that. <laughs> like, Remington here, specifically? No. The, well, Remington is the gun that was used in the Sandy Hook shooting. No, I know, but so as that's far as like marketing they to wouldn't have, the... No, no that, they that's the thing. They're going to try and... They're going to try and show. They're going to try and show that a, a Remington shotgun or a Remington Was firearm is in, in Call these. of Duty, okay. and then Remington I mean. is going to present Call of Duty requested yeah. the licensing rights to utilize their firearm in the game. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. again, like wow. they're going to shoot so many holes yeah. in in this, like yeah. like that. But here's the real situation: is that the Mossberg 500 and the Remington 870 are the two most popular shotguns on Earth. That's why it's in the video game. Fuck face. Because it's like it's uh, not marketing I'm not, the to pe- young pe- at people. Risk yeah, teens. people like, aren't putting fucking uh, diet right cola in their fucking movies. They're putting Coke and Pepsi, and if they wouldn't put diet right, no matter how much money they they would spend, because it doesn't make sense. You don't want to be associated with some weak ass brand like that. At any rate, that's not the point. The point is, the reason that they're suing Remington specifically is because they only have legal standing to do so because it was involved in that shooting, right? Yes. Like I'm they sure. wouldn't be able to sue any other company, but that this is a general point that they're making about all companies, and that's why. It, it's going this way. Yeah, but Here, didn't the Sandy Hook shooter have a <laughs> multitude of fires? He only used one of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know so, that. at any rate, the claims they're making that the wep- weapon shouldn't be offered to civilians, that is a matter of law. Like, the federal government decided that those weapons were legal. Not only did they... So, for a while, they, they banned assault weapons, right? Yep. And then that, they allowed that assault weapons ban to expire, and they never brought it back up. It's never seen another piece of legislation since then. That is tacit agreement by the federal government that that weapon is okay for the general public. So the federal government's already decided that that weapon is okay and given that tacit approval to the fucking manufacturer to sell that weapon, period. They have no standing at all to fucking press this case. So your both of your thought process is <coughs> they just want to get this ruling on the books out of the way so they can it cite it. It becomes a cited ruling like, like never uh, have to g- deal with give this Give him one that you all, we always talk about, like something that was Brown back in the 1950s. Yeah, yeah you know, that's yeah. a good one. Like. I mean, that's that's it's a, that's like, a OK, we'll one. allow you to prosecute this. But when you <clears throat> fail miserably, this will become the one that we that we reference. you want case law and stuff. Yeah. There's, there's obviously like there's a law that gets passed in Congress and there's a law that gets decided in, in the judiciary process. I think that there is a lot of and there's there's natural law as well. What a lot of emotion and irrational thought that goes along with the Sandy Hook situation. Right. And yeah, of course, I think that these families <laughs> like uh <coughs> i don't know they need something like this it's not gonna go through but uh, if Maybe. this i mean you mean for closure it puts or whatever on something yeah. but it, i but, mean but it puts this them was on a the roller most tragic what? like it's just gonna put them on a roller coaster for the next two and a half years and, it, and then when they get the ruling that they don't want you're gonna have six months of them on tv everywhere bitching about it so it's like is it really these healthy people have been searching to sue many different people <laughs> For yeah, yeah. Ever yeah. Since. Well, I mean, it worked against and the tobacco companies, for example, right? It, it, to what? It did, yeah. People but. sued the tobacco companies for targeting young people. And, but here's the difference. The tobacco company was dishonest about the effects of their, of their product. And there's no, there's no fucking question about what a gun does, right? Does anybody, yeah. does anybody not know what it does? Because we can do that for you. Yeah. It's going to do nothing for the law. It's going to not pass, as you say. No, there's no way this goes through. Um, I mean, it, it'll go well, through the court It'll process. actually do something for the law <laughs> in the fact that once it does get passed and, and they lose this case, mm-hmm. right. and it'll it be, seals it. it. It'll, it'll be cited work, yeah. and then you'll be able to use that <laughs> against anybody else who ever tries to yeah. file a lawsuit. Like and the this. idea that they're marketing uh, through video games and shit like that, these are some of no, the most wrong. ubiquitous guns on earth. Of course that video game is going to use it. Moreover, as I said before, the federal government's already said that these guns are okay to own. By the civilian population so you can't unless they're misrepresenting what the gun does which would be impossible like remember the standard in, in the court of law is a reasonable person's belief or expectation so no reasonable person could ever think with all the information that's been out there for the last 20 years on quote unquote assault rifles what those guns do right there's no way that a reasonable person could say they didn't know what that weapon was was could do right right no way and that includes the federal government who should 
especially legislators, should have more information on that than anybody. And they're the ones that decided not to do anything about it. If anybody could be sued for this, it would be the federal government. But good luck with that shit, right? Because our buddy Rich is trying to sue him right now, and he's telling, getting told to go fuck himself by Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, who is a little bitch. Yes, by and the way. he will be on the bitch. show next week to chat about it with his lawyer. Not which Lindsey we are Graham. Excited about Richard Stays call, not Lindsey Graham. Correct. That but, piece but of shit would never come on. He'll show. be able to tell you everything that's going on going on with with Lindsey Graham. Yeah. Uh, on the show and, and yep. along with his lawyer. We actually posted an article about it that uh, yeah. on on Drinking Bros Story right now. You can go swipe up on that, read mm-hmm. it, and educate yourself a little bit. You also watch play. the video. Watch yes. the video. We put Lindsey Graham's fucking congressional te- or senatorial telephone number on there. So if you want to call and give him a piece of your mind, do that. And again, when you are a political figure in any part of the government and or politics, your number and your address and all that shit is public knowledge. So uh, that's the way it is. Jared, since you're here in studio, do you want to toss it to Top of Stacy for the weather? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey lady. Uh, Top of Stacy, what are we seeing uh, for the weather today? Alabama. Guess I'm keeping the baby. Ah. God, I miss her. Yeah. I yeah. miss her. Weren't you guys supposed to get together? Yeah, yeah I think we are. Just, uh, we'll talk about it after yeah. the show. Yeah, you guys were <laughs> supposed to have uh, <laughs> have a meal at uh, Ruby Tuesdays. But yeah, I yeah, that no, no. I was yeah. Taking, really? I was You're going classy uh, no, right no, out of the No, no, I was taking her to Jabronis. Come on. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. Jabronis, yeah, yeah. 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 Ruby yeah. Tuesday's too much for a first day, bro. It no. is. No, we're going to All Jabronis. All that salad? Yeah. But it did close I've down. I've actually never been to one. Is that a real thing? Well, it closed down, so I thought he was taking her to just an abandoned building. Jabronis it is. I can't wait till you and Top with Stacy settle down together. Yeah, we have a Drinking Bros wedding. Yeah, that's um, it. She wears a top to it, or maybe not. she doesn't. Maybe she doesn't. Uh, by the way, for those of you who remember that uh, that conversation we had about six months ago with Jennifer Marshall, if you want to go look for it, yes. called North and South. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah. We're animating that right now, and you're going to see it within about a week, week and a half. <laughs> yeah, so we're uh, super excited to present you. Very with excited, animation very excited. I'm not sure where we're going. We, we may have to blur some stuff out because it's going to be super fucked up. But you'll hear all the words. That's what I important. don't know. Uh, either way, we will post it in its entirety and then wait for people to block us later on. Yes, this. there yeah. you go. Uh, for Danthony, <laughs> Danthony Holloway, Jared Taylor, Jesse Wiseman, I am Ross Patterson. This is Drinking Bros Fake News. Have a real fake weekend, everyone. <laughs> 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 <laughs>